in what type of lesion? I, I would say historically, historically, it was done for the so-called intermediate lesion. I mean, the first paper in the American Heart Journal in 93, that's not new, was for the intermediate lesion. That has evolved considerably. Uh, basically, if an individual come on the table of the cat lab without functional test or with a test which is equivocal and you have a lesion which is not subtotal, I mean, it could be subtotal if the patient is unstable or have a very severe angina, uh, then there will be an indication to test the main lesion since you don't have any justification, uh, clinical, clinical justification or functional justification. So you will go to a invasive functional justification. Having said that, we are not treating anymore today in the lab a single lesion. Single lesion is still uh, the mainstream in the most recent trial, is still two-thirds of the case, but there is a, a reasonable proportion of patients with multivessel disease. And then when you have done the so-called culprit lesion, you have to test the other. So that's the type of indication that we have currently.